Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about what's new in iOS 9.2 Beta 1. Alright, so I'm not going to lie, I actually really love the rate at which Apple is just pumping out the updates this year because number one, I get to make more videos on iOS, and number two, I love updates. So yesterday, Apple released the very first beta of iOS 9.2 to developers, and we're going to talk about what's new. Really, the only change so far that has been discovered has to do with Safari in-app web views, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now. If I open an app like Tweetbot, for example, it could be any app using the stock Safari web browser, which I'll show you right now. If I tap on a link, for example, it's going to shoot me over to a page that looks just like this. And new features in iOS 9.2 include that when you actually long press, not like 3D touch or force touch, but just long hold on the reload button in the top right hand corner of the screen, it's now going to give you a small pop up that allows you to request the desktop version of whatever site you're currently viewing, which is cool. You can actually do this on iOS 9.1 and versions of iOS less than iOS 9.2 right now in the Safari application, but for whatever reason, you just couldn't do this in the in-app Safari web view, which is kind of weird. Another new feature includes the ability to use more third-party like add-ons for apps. So for example, one password was just not able to be accessed on the Safari view controller on iOS 9.1, for example. But in iOS 9.2, you can definitely see right here that one password is installed and I can use it via the Safari in-app web browser. And that's pretty much the story of iOS 9.2 so far. It's just bringing Safari features from the Safari app into the Safari in-app web browser, which I guess is pretty cool. Of course, there is plenty of time left in the beta cycle for more features and improvements to be added into iOS 9.2, but so far, this is all we got. If you enjoyed watching this video, it'd be awesome if you took just a second and clicked on that like button down below. And for more content on iOS 9, specifically future iOS 9 releases, make sure you've hit that subscribe button in case you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of my future content. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. I hope you guys had a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next one.